Okay, now that's just too dramatic. Hold on a minute. Today, you will learn how to survive in Fernado. And I don't know why my recording isn't... My recording isn't moving. I'm, where am I recording at? I don't see it. Okay, what if I just hit the stop? Alright guys, but for real, Infernado is the challenge that you will eventually have to face when playing Tornado Alley Ultimate, and today I will teach you how to survive it. This is episode 2 of our cool series thing, so let's get right into it. The first thing that you'll notice is that it's literal Venus outside. What exactly this tornado does is it goes around the map and sets things on fire, and that's pretty much it. Other than that, it's a normal tornado. Because this so tornado has so little to talk about, this will be a pretty short episode. This tornado is actually as strong as an EF3, but it's the size of an EF2, so don't be fooled. Alright, time to start. It took me forever to get this tornado, so please like and subscribe because this video took so long to make. You know, I didn't just queue it to my private server or anything. <laughs> nope. Oh, and I forgot, please spawn this far away from the tornado. There's no way to tell, but just be lucky. All right, now just wait. No, no, I, I told you not to show the chat part. No, 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 no. Now they all know I queued it. Anyways, what you're going to need to do is avoid this tornado by going around the map. Because like I said, this tornado has the strength of an EF3, even though it looks like an EF2. But that also means that it's about as slow as an EF3. So try that. Also, having the fireproof game pass will come in particularly handy with this because this tornado obviously sets everything on fire. And also, don't do what I'm doing right now. If you're this bad at driving a boat, then don't drive a boat, okay? Something you should know about the tornado is that if you get caught in it, there's nothing to worry about. I mean, of course, yeah, you might take damage, but you won't be set on fire. That's not how it works. The only way you'll be set on fire is if you touch something that has been set on fire by the Infernado and you don't have the fireproof game blast. Did I say game blast? What is wrong with me? Anyways, that's pretty much it. If you want to see more of this, then like and subscribe. Comment down below which tornado you would like to try to survive next, and I will gladly show you. Anyways, peace. Well, actually, I probably shouldn't say peace. I, I mean, there's a fire tornado right behind me. I, I mean, like, goodbye. What's a good way to say goodbye? Can I, can I just end the video?